Welcome to Williamstown Primary School's second tutorial on Google Classroom. Today we're going to have a look at submitting an assignment using your iPad on Google Classroom. To submit this assignment we are going to use a photo of your work. So recently you would have been completing a whole bunch of learning tasks at home. So we're going to get you to take some photos of those learning tasks and be able to submit them to your teacher. What's really important is that you make sure that you frame the photo properly, make sure that it's in, um, it's in the frame and that it is nice and clear for you to be able to see. So that way that your teacher is able to see that as well. So we're going to go into Google Classroom, click into the app, and we're going to be sitting here on our Google Classroom. Now you can see the difference between two posts that we have here. The first one is uh, the new assignment and that's where we're going to be submitting our work the second one is the post that you're used to, which is where your learning tasks have been getting posted using um, the material post. So, but we're going to click on new assignment. And here it is here, it's popped up. It'll have a description, it'll have the date that it's due. So you can see that this one is due on Friday at two o'clock. And you can see down the very bottom that it says your work. So we're going to just grab the little arrow here and slide it up. Okay, so you can see here that we have add attachment, mark as done, and we also have a private message. So we need to submit our work. So we're going to click on add attachment. And we're going to go to pick a photo because we've already um, taken a photo of our work and it is sitting there on our iPad. I'm going to go to all photos. As you can see, the very last two photos that I have here uh, photos of my work. Now we have to upload them one by one, unfortunately. So I'm going to click on the fractions one and that is going to unload, upload as you can see here. And when it is finished uploading, it will pop up just above the attachments tab. There it is. So now we're going to click on it again, add attachment and pick photo all photos and we're going to go to the second one here and add that in as well now if you're working off a, uh, a PC or a laptop uh, a Mac laptop um, that it works pretty much the same it just looks a little bit different but I'm going to go into add private comments and I'm going to write a comment to my teacher hi Mr. Pure, thank you for viewing my work. There we go. We're going to send that, send the message, and then there you go. You can see there's a message here. And what will happen is that when Mr. Pure sees my work, he will then be able to send me a comment back as well. But one thing that's really important I must do now is I must hand it in. Because if I don't hand it in, he doesn't get to see it. So I'm going to press hand in. You can see here, do you uh, hand in your work? Two attachments will be submitted. Yep, hand it in. And there you go, it's been submitted. So you can see here now that when I go back, okay, I can see that I have a private comment but I have handed it in. So it says handed in on the side down the bottom there. Now what I can do if I've made a mistake or if I want to add something else, I can just open it back up, click on unsubmit, and it says unsubmit. And there you go, we're back here. What this means though is that I can either change the work that I've sent through or I can add something else again. So I can click on add attachment Go back to the pick a photo. I'm going to pick one of the funny art photos I did. I'm going to add that as well. Should pop up. And then I'm going to go, I also added my artwork. There we go, I'll send through that message. I press hand in, three attachments this time. And 
if you just wait, as you can see, it has been submitted because it says unsubmitted. You can see at the top here, it says handed in. And that's how you submit an assignment on Google Classroom. Now after you've submitted your assignment, your teacher will give you some feedback and possibly give you a mark for your assignment as well. So if you have a look at the top left, top right hand corner, you can see a little icon there underneath the battery percentage. We're just gonna press that. And as you can see, it pops up and this is where all of the, the assignments that I've submitted will be sitting. You can see the assignment that I recently submitted. My teacher, Mr. Pure, has given me 98 out of 100. But I can also see there that there are some, it looks like there's an extra comment there. So I'm just gonna click on that. And you can see the owl screen has popped up. I'm just going to slide that up. So you can see here, I have 98 out of 100. I have Stephen Pure. Well done, Matthew. Your work was well presented and neat. So we have feedback from your teacher. You have a mark. And if you wanted to, you are able to comment back as well. So that is the way in which you submit an assignment to your teacher and the way in which they will give you back some information as well, give you back some feedback.